In this video, we're going to go over the Venturi meter. The Venturi meter shown below is a device used to measure the speed of a fluid in a pipe. The cross-sectional areas at points A and B are 10 square centimeters and 5 square centimeters. So let's say A1 at point A, that's 10, and A2 at point B is 5 square centimeters. The height difference of the water levels in the two tubes is 62, I mean 61.2 centimeters. What is the speed of the water at point A? So how can we calculate the speed that flows in this tube? Now there is a formula that you can use to get the answer, but let's talk about how to derive that formula. So let's start with Bernoulli's equation. P1, that's the pressure at point one, plus rho g h1 plus 1 half rho v1 squared is equal to p2 plus rho g h2 plus 1 half rho v2 squared. Now points a and b are at the same height level so there's no difference in height. So we could set that as the ground level which means h is 0. So we don't need these two terms in the equation. Now I'm going to take P2 and move it to this side. So on the left, I'm going to have P1 minus P2. I'm going to take this term and move it to that side. And so this is going to equal 1 half rho v2 squared minus 1 half rho v1 squared. Now the difference in the pressure at points A and B, P1 minus P2, we can call it delta P. And the volume flow rate at points A and B has to be the same. The volume flow rate is the area times the velocity. So we have the equation of continuity for an incompressible fluid. A1 V1 is equal to A2 V2. So solving for V2, the velocity at point B, it's going to be A1 divided by A2 times V1. So basically, I divided both sides of this equation by A2. So what I'm going to do is replace V2 squared with this expression. So 1 half rho, and then V2 is A1 divided by A2 times V1, and we need to square it, minus 1 half rho V1 squared. Now the difference in pressure of points A and B is proportional to the difference in height between the two levels. So let's say this extra fluid here, the pressure exerted by that extra fluid relative to this level, that's equal to delta P. And the pressure due to the weight of a fluid is rho g h. So we can replace delta P with rho g h. And so that's going to equal all of this stuff on the right. But let's factor out some things. So first, let's factor out the fraction 1 half. So we can take that out of the equation. And then we could take out the density rho. It's in both terms. And we could also factor out v1 squared. So what we're left in this term is a1 over a2, and don't forget to apply the square to that. So it's going to be a1 divided by a2 squared. And if we factor out 1 half rho v1 from uh, this term, once you take out the 1 half rho v1 squared, you're left with 1. So we now have that expression. So now we can cancel the density on both sides of the equation, and then let's multiply both sides by 2. This will get rid of the fraction on the right side. So 2gh is equal to v1 squared 
times a1 over a2 squared minus 1. So let's divide both sides by this term, a1 over a2 squared minus 1. So v1 squared is therefore equal to 2gh divided by a1 over a2 squared minus 1. So the last thing we need to do is take the square root of both sides. So now we have the equation. So the velocity at point A is going to be the square root of 2gh divided by a1 over a2 squared minus 1. So now let's plug in what we have. So all we need to know is the ratio of the areas and also the height difference between the water levels in the tubes. With that information, we could calculate the flow speed in the pipe. Now the height difference has to be in meters. So 61.2 centimeters we need to divide that by 100 to get that meter. So that's going to be 0.612 meters. Now the area can be in square centimeters or square meters because A1 over A2, it's going to be unitless. The units is going to cancel. They simply have to match. So A1 is 10 square centimeters. A2 is 5. And so 10 over 5 is 2. 2 squared is 4 and 4 minus 1 is 3. 2 times 9.8 times 0 0.612 that's 11.9952 basically about 12. So if we divide that by 3 and take the square root V1 is approximately 2 meters per second. So that's the speed of the water flowing through point A. So now let's calculate the flow speed at point B. So we could use this equation. A1 V1 is equal to A2 V2. So A1 is 10. V1 is 2 meters per second. A2 is 5. And now we can calculate V2. So it's going to be 10 times 2, which is 20. And 20 divided by 5, which is 4. So the flow speed at point B, which is here, uh, that's going to be 4 meters per second. Now, once the pipe expands again, let's say at point C, the flow speed is going to be back to the same speed at point A. It's going to be reduced to 2 meters per second. So here it's at 2, then it increases to 4, then it decreases back to 2. So now let's move on to part C. What is the pressure difference between points A and B? As mentioned before, the pressure difference is proportional to the height in the two water columns, the height difference. So it's PG delta H. So the density is 1,000. G is 9.8. And the height difference between the two water levels is 0.612 meters. So if we multiply these three numbers, this will give us a pressure difference of 5,997.6 pascals. Now let's move on to part D. If the pressure at point A is 15,000 pascals, what is the pressure at point B? So at point A, it's this value. The pressure at point B, is it going to be greater or less than the pressure at point A? Now whenever the area decreases, the flow speed increases. And when the flow speed increases, the pressure decreases. The pressure is high when the speed of the water is low. And the pressure is low when the speed of the water is high. So we should expect an answer less than 15,000 pascals. Now we already have the change in pressure. 
So the new pressure is 15,000 minus 5,997.6. So it should be 9,002.4 pascals. Now let's confirm that answer with Bernoulli's equation. So P1 plus rho G H1 plus 1 half rho V1 squared. That's equal to P2 plus rho G H2 plus 1 half rho V2 squared. Now, as mentioned before, the height doesn't matter. The height difference between A and B is 0. P1 is 15,000. And then it's going to be plus the density of water times the speed of water at point A, which is 2 meters per second. And we're looking for P2. And the speed of water at point B, it increased to 4 meters per second. So on the left, half of a thousand is 500 times 2 squared. That's 2,000. So this is 2,000 plus 15,000. So we have 17,000 pascals on the left. On the right, 0.5 times 1,000, that's 500 times 4 squared. So that's 8,000. So to calculate P2, it's going to be 17,000 minus 8,000. And if you subtract those two numbers, you get 9,000. And as you can see, these answers are about the same.